for me in particular, the most um, innovative uh, event in, in recent years was happened about uh, three and a half years ago where I actually went to Japan. And that for me was, was very formative in, in restructuring the whole college's approach to engineering. Because what I learned there in Japan was how you modernise engineering, which was what our difficulty at the time is, what's our engineering, what strengths have we got and how do we do it. And as a result of that secondment, um, a whole range of changes occurred uh, in Gateshead College. In terms of the secondment, the secondment was actually with colleagues from this end. Two things were happening to us, both coincidentally at the same time. One, I was looking, knew we needed to reform our engineering curriculum. And from Nissan's point of view, there was a whole new change of direction, which was what's now called the Global Training Centre, which was a whole new approach to how training should be, um, how, how you set about training, the method you employ in training, right down to also the, the ways in which you assessed um, people. Very, very skills oriented and skills tested. I went with, uh, with several colleagues from Nissan for a seven day secondment into, into Japan looking at their very specific the global training centre but matching the training that was going on there with what was actually happening in the Apama plant um, and also I went to, they were very good, I also went to the Denso Corporation um, also in Japan. In essence what we were learning or what we'd seen there was a whole kind of approach to multi-skilling, particularly around um, technicians, uh, but also quite basic skills uh, developments for, from, bit, from operators right the way through, as I say, to um, highly skilled technicians. With those images and learning in mind, what I was able to then do was come back and form a strategy with colleagues within the college to actually build a template for the reformation of our engineering and some of the things you see in the college today are a result of that. That part of that was um, an approach to recruiting people directly from the industry and training them as teachers as opposed to necessarily training staff, existing staff, into industrial techniques. It also involved recruiting very specific managers from industry who actually understood the industry and had credibility with that industry. Um, it also helped our resource investments within the college about the kinds of things we should be investing in and keeping pace with technological change in industry.